Hurry, run, run, run. Let's learn together. Hey everyone, Wagwan. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Candy Apple Momo for my new viewers, aka Mo. So I'm here to speak to you about some transitioning tips. Now this is a highly requested video and I just want you to listen keenly so you can learn everybody's different goals. I wrote them down on a piece of paper and all of these tips helped me while I was transitioning. So I just thought it would be so helpful for you all. Tip number one, just be you. Now y'all text me asking, how can I go back natural or how can I be natural? You were born natural. You weren't born with so-called perm here. So all you gotta do is just let the perm ends grow out. And that's how you go back natural. Just be you. Feel yourself. Excuse me. Feel myself. I'm feeling myself. That's all you got. Tip number two, a lot of deep conditioning. I can't press this point no more. It is so important. Like it retains the moisture. It makes their hair stronger. If some people say it changes the texture of their hair. Guys, deep conditioning is the bomb. You need to deep condition at least every week or every two weeks because you're transitioning even naturally it's like full grown out hair naturally we still have to be conditioned a lot because it is necessary you want to ensure that while you're you're um transitioning you are not only just growing it out just to be natural but actually to have a healthy hair journey so you want to limit the use of heat as much as possible. Less blow drying, less flat ironing, whatever requires heat, use less so your hair can be stronger, more vibrant. And so this tip, number, I think it's number four, or number five, whichever. It is very important not to compare yourself to others. Like, there's none like you. Girl, what you talking about? Don't compare your texture to anybody else's texture. We are all different. We are not one of a kind. And as the Jamaican mother says, out of many one people, like, everybody's different. I may have a three Steve. 4A, which is my hair type, you may have a 3A, 3B, go girl. You may have a 4C, that's also beautiful. So we are all beautiful in our own way. So just, I just wanna say, just don't compare yourself. Ain't nobody like you, girl. To tip number five protective style wear a lot of protective style just to do just not just for low manipulation and just for you to feel more comfortable growing out your hair and not going back to her because it's very rough it's a hard task when you're transitioning and I know that. So braid it a lot, girl. Get them wigs popping. Whatever it takes to get a protective style. This is a protective style. Whichever you choose. Just rock it, girl. Tip number six. You want to ensure that you're eating healthy. And not only for your hair growth journey. But all the time. You should ensure that you eat healthy because what you put in your body will reflect outside and you want to drink a lot a lot of water water helps to keep your hair so moisturized so you want to get it all that water girl and it helps to prevent breakage of course because it retains the moisture so 
little girl. Let's see getting all that water. So another question y'all ask me, what is your regimen? No, I want to say to you, being a fresh naturalist, I would say be a product junkie. I know many naturalists won't agree, but listen why I say. You need to try different stuff. You're new to the thing. Test out things. See what works for you. Because what works for me might never work for you. Baby girl, we all have different textures. So you need to see what works for your texture. So when I was freshly natural girl, I was a product junkie even now, but it's a little minimized. But anyways, I do the liquid cream oil method. I do locks sometimes. I do both of them. It doesn't really matter to me. And what this simply means, liquid LCO means liquid cream oil, and LOC means liquid oil cream, and that's the order in which you would moisturize right here. And that's all it is to it. But I just wanna say, you create your own regimen. Once it has a liquid cream and oil, and water can be your liquid, that's your leaving conditioner, that's the best leaving conditioner. Water or aloe vera juice. For your cream, you can choose any cream. You can make your own cream. And oil, you can use the Jamaican black castor oil because that makes your hair very thick. And all that good stuff, you can use wild growth. Whichever oil you choose. I'm currently using jojoba oil and some other oils. So, create a regimen. Create a regimen, meaning what I mean when I say that is to Set a time when you wash your hair, when you co-wash your hair, when you deep condition, like do special deep conditioning treatment, protein treatment. Okay girls, you want to ensure that whatever you do, just seek inspiration. Find you a girl that you admire so much. Like join natural hair groups on Facebook. I have a... Um, a natural hair page. I also have a natural hair group. My page is more more unique than natural and my Facebook group is Naturalistas Uniqueness. And be inspired. Do your research. That's another one. To Because there's so much to know about naturally, um, natural hair and we oftentimes overlook that. So just research so much about how to retain moisture, how to prevent breakage, whatever it is that you need to know. Research it and feel free to um, request and ask other naturalists to help you along the way. Another tip, embrace it girls. Embrace your natural look. No, I know it's not easy. Cause that's why I transitioned like three times. Because society look at it like it's a crime. So the influence you get from the media, from what people say, don't let that affect you. You have it's a mental issue. It it can be spiritual. You have to make up your mind that okay, this is what I want to do, not because I see others doing it, but because I feel that I just want to embrace my roots. I want to feel comfortable in my own skin, inside out. Just embrace it. There's sometimes you try new style, and they're gonna come out not looking the way you want it to it's gonna come out a big mess but embrace it i can i tell you the amount of times i fail stuff infinity you'll be yeah but it can't i can't explain how many times i fail stuff so just embrace your natural journey guys Everything you do in life, you have to be patient. They say patience is a virtue. Trust me, I've learned that it's true. And be consistent in whatever you do and you will achieve it. You'll keep it. Trust me. And just always remember um, that your hair is not going to grow overnight. But if you take good care of it, it's going to grow the way it's supposed to grow. They say you're supposed to grow at least an inch a month.
So if you take good care of your hair, you'll gain it. And imagine, there are 12 months in a year. Imagine if you take good care of your hair, you can be getting it. 12 inch in one year. Or some people here grow faster, so you might gain over an inch. Go for it. My last tip is to cut it. Trim girls and girls. But for a fresh naturalist, I would say seek a professional. And why I say this is because you might end up with uneven ends and nobody likes that. It looks horrible, at least. I hate to see it. So, you can do it yourself if you know how to do it properly. But when, if you go to a professional, ensure that you get a good deal, girl. Nothing beats a good deal. So, them ends just need to trim. You need to cut it. Cut it. Cut it.